What's up? It's your boy Remus. And in this video, I'm gonna be speaking about the fact that, um, you know, we talk about, ah, uh, should men cry, should men not cry, blah, 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 all of that stuff. But I wanna start off with this, right? Does crying make the pain go away? Just think about that for a sec. When you have pain and you cry, does crying immediately make the pain go away? Now, think about a time you stubbed your toe on a door or whatever. You hit your toe and you're like, oh, shit. This hurts so much. When you did that, did the pain go away? Did the pain go away because you did that? <laughs> Usually, no, it didn't. The pain is still there. So when I realized that, I, 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 I thought to myself, I'm going to try to stop going, ah, ah, my toe hurts, my toe hurts. Because it doesn't make it go away. It doesn't, there's no purpose for the action. Why am I doing the action with no purpose? So you can actually look at other areas of life like that. You can look at complaining like that. If complaining doesn't help, why are you doing it? Now, by this, by this point in the video, I probably should have confused women. Because a woman watching this will be like, yeah, but I want to cry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to cry. But a man, hopefully, I've hit into you. Oh, shit, yeah. I'm, I'm, I can, that's a way for me to be strong. Because this isn't really a video for women, really. However, the reason why a woman would like to cry is, is because they're emotional and they love emotional expression. So crying for them actually get like they will get off on the emotional expression part of it which is the only reason why you should cry you should cry if it lets off that steam so you can now move the fuck on but your general energy as a man should never be to be a crier not if we're gonna be trying to be a superior man i'm not talking about being an average man or an, an indoctrinated man in this society which is as good as being a pussy i'm speaking about the superior strong masculine man that's what i'm speaking to that's what i'm speaking for so if you cry are you a bitch no what the fuck that don't make sense but the fact that we're having this conversation about it is actually a bit of it's a bit bitchy it's a bit pussy like fucking cry let it out and let's fucking move on do you get what i'm saying if something deep happens in your life cry late like why are you even discussing that's anti-manly for you to be not discussing let me correct that <laughs> it's anti-manly for you to be getting permission to cry do you get what i'm saying but if you are that type that operates in that energy with what uh what i just spoke of which is you don't ask for permission you're probably strong enough to not be the type that's crying all the time so i don't even have to tell you to not cry all the time now if you cry once or sparingly because of a very deep thing happened in your life or like me i will cry easy in a fucking movie if i watch some shit about war and the guy is like yeah 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 and he wows people into um excitement as they're gonna fucking go into the land try to go it like like the movie 300 against a thousand people something like that i'll i'll tear up i will be like <laughs> never <laughs> but i will I'll, I'll be um I'll be tearing up. That touches me. But it's not, I'm not asking for permission from anyone. That don't even, that don't even make sense to me. But if your general energy is to all the time, you are a bitch. You are a bitch. And how do we know this? We can measure this by, um, like your girl will tell you, or girls will tell you, yeah, you should cry, you should cry. They always say that shit. They will be the first ones to actually get creeped out or um they will resent you like like they will lose respect that's what i mean they will lose respect for you when you do that do you get what i'm saying the same girl tell it, the same girls encouraging you to cry because it makes you more feminine which is actually them conquering you on an energetic level on an energetic level they're conquering you because they're imposing how they are on you they're the same girls that if you were a crier in the relationship they're going to look at other men more and think you're a bit of a bitch. They're more likely to think you're a pussy and they'll fuck the guy who they perceive to not cry. That is a hard soundbite. 
<laughs> that is hard. So I'm not gonna, you know, go any further. Um, but the the what I would leave it on is the fact that your general energy should never to be a cry, never. Like it shouldn't be like you just easily cry all the time and you're you're a bit of a wimp. No, no. Don't listen to people telling you to be like that because they don't mind you being weak. They like you being weak because it actually um, means less competition for them. Subconsciously, they're aware of this. Even if consciously they're not, subconsciously people will make you weaker because you are less competi uh, you, you're not competition for them and they can impose themselves on you easier. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.